Okay. Okay, there. Started recording now. Uh. Okay, so we were just talking about. Suddenly gotten all quiet. Uh. Hello, I can still hear you. Okay. Okay, so you just said that the mage does physical auto. Yes, some mages are built to be physical autos, even though they are magical based. So certain gods like yeah. Freya, Oleron, Kronos, and sometimes depending on how you build them, other subclasses like Zonkwe, even though they're not a subclass, they're just not yes, yes, yes. perfectly fit for the yeah. situation you, that we are You made a comment that now you... I want you to make that comment that you made on it. And what, what comment is that? Can you refresh my mind? I, I can't because I talked over you and I didn't hear what you said, but you made you made a short comment ah. on it. So, so there is like... It's just how you build a character. You can make it an auto attack base or an ability base, but some classes seem to do better with attack base, even though they are magical. So, like Freya, Kronos, and Oleron, like I stated previously, they do better as an auto attack, even though they're magical. Now, that's not saying that their abilities don't do good, it's just that their scaling and how their kit works is they do better with auto attack. Wow. So that means that if you use their abilities, that you might have a tactical advantage because not very many people maybe do that. But uh, Yes. But, uh, okay, so I just want to go back and recap because um, when I started the recording, we had already been speaking for a long time on this topic. Not too long, I guess. Maybe just, what, like five minutes. But I just want to quickly recap everything that I've made notes of. So there are five classes, Assassin, Guardian, Warrior, Hunter, Mage. And there are three types of classes, DPS, Healer, Tank. And some, and there are like 109 characters or some, something like that. And right. some characters can be built as, very few, but some characters can be built as DPS, Healer, or Tank. And I was just trying to work out what they are and what their distribution is with these other sort of subcategories. And we also talked about base damage, that essentially there are two ways of causing damage, um, which is auto and casting, and we call that baseness. And in the analogy to this in my theory, which I'm still working out, is this is going to be my educational tool for teaching people about it, is that um, you get auto auto damage and you get casting damage and casting damage requires thought to use so like usually it's sort of it's more strategic or it uses geometry or something and auto is obviously just like mashing buttons whatever correct and so in my view the the analogy to psychology is that you get irrational circuitry and you get rational circuitry and irrational circuitry often doesn't exist by itself it exists as a confluence of many different tribal interwoven nodes you know so so it's like some people that are autoing are autoing with other people that are autoing or maybe other people that have things inside of them sorry the, you know so essentially that would mean that there are some thinkers in the system that are controlling things maybe something like that anyway um oh, oh absolutely so that all has to do with the rational circuits okay so if you can just control all the rational circuits or you can control all the irrational circuits then you can maybe broker some kind of peace anyway um or to do the one you will conversely also have a correspondence to the other because many of them are interwoven except for the independent ones that are not because there are maybe some that are already liberated but they're not Perhaps there are levels of, um, uh, this is not how I would put it, but um, of anyway, I, 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 it's, 
it's, for me, it's slightly weird to start using scientific language. That is, when when I'm trying to do alchemy here. But anyway, um, which is in context, sort of, to be a gentleman uh, and a scholar. That is what it means to be an alchemist. Anyway, so I'm talking cryptically. Um, okay, so. But the reason why I wanted this analogy is because I have got five uh, in my system. There are sort of there are five primary colors. So I guess that is just sort of in Scientology they call it matter, energy, space, and time. Now that's only four things, and these are five things. So they're missing one to do with mist. Maybe it's spirit, matter, energy, space, time, and spirit. Yes, that makes sense. So there should be. Five things, not four. M E S T S. Mests. There are mests. And then some of these mests will be of sort of nests of. nests of. of wickedness or nests of sanctuary, I guess. You know? Who's to say what is harmony and what is not? You know, you have to. T you have to grow. grow the people into maturity, into civility, into all the things, you know, did you ever watch the John, the John Wick movies? I watched the first John Wick and I have not seen the other ones. Oh man, you really should. I can't wait to see what the, the next one will be. I think I just, I saw the third one like a couple a months ago, I think, I think it was the third one. I remember that I'd seen two and then I had missed one and I I I had actively avoided it. And then I watched it a couple of weeks back. <sighs> what do you think of Keanu Reeves? Well rounded man. And you speak so publicly. I'm asking for your comments, sir. What is your opinion on the man? Uh, let's see. I, I don't know much about Keanu Reeves outside of his movie life, but what I really do enjoy his acting. I really like his roles in The Matrix. I'd rate him about a 6 out of 10. Is that code for something? Is well, that... a 10 would be like how much I would... Let's say that there would be a new movie that I have no idea what's about, but Keanu Reeves is in it. I, I would be about 6 out of 10 wanting to go see it just because Keanu Reeves is in there. I just want to slightly critique you, if you don't mind, that when in terms of how see? you speak, if you don't mind. Continue. Is that um, when you say six out of ten, instead of explaining the scale in full sentence, you could you could just give me a a phrase. You could just give me a gist. You know, you could be six out of ten in something, and then just and le and use ex ex accentuate your voice. And make a a um, a kind of comment as a word, you know, and that is how I think people even create proto slang. Is 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 that it? that is how slang is created, or do you have a rule of compunction that that removes that from you? I use slang, but only when slang is needed to be used in a sentence. So if someone were to say like yo to me, I would say yo back. But if someone says hey, I wouldn't say like yo or what's up, I would say hello back. Uh, I think it's just how people approach the opening sentence. It's just the way my brain like uh, interprets how the sentence is going to go before I speak it. So you only use it in a greeting? Yes. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say only in a greeting. It just depends uh, about how the the energy in the room is. 
like if I feel comfortable, then then I'll you know start speaking differently than like normal English, I guess. If that makes sense. Yeah. So so you'll just sort of um, homogenize to the the speaking group that you are being a member of. Yes, that seems about right. I think you're an SE Dom, which would make you something like, sorry, I'm, I'm, th th this is, uh, what is that? Sorry, I'm a bit of a scientist. Uh, you must forgive me. So I'm, I'm, um, sorry, there, there's a technical term for this. I'm grading you. I'm, I'm grading you. You must excuse me because I, I seek it's to, fine. I seek to teach you. And before I teach you, I need to know the quality of the intake, you know, so I'm, I'm sort of this is pseudo therapy here, you know, because I'm not credentialed. I don't have any degree at any university. I'm a self read expert. So you know, who am I to do these things which uh, uh, attract license in the states of the world? Sorry, I can I can speak like a like a bit of a an English dandy they used to call them, but I try to speak properly and in the round. Um, and you just follow me when I do that. You, that you try to homogenize your your pattern of speech, which is very. I must say it's very gratifying. I do appreciate it. I find it very hard to talk to people, and it's much easier to talk to you. But I mean, it seems that I mean you've told me all these things about your life that make me think that you know is it is it just you, your nature, or is it your experiences? How do you see yourself? If you don't uh, know. round you it off. Like I, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Round it all. I don't know how to really answer that question. I mean, you told me. I don't. Right, you told me right at the start of our discussion. If you don't, do you mind me bringing up things that are not part of the recording that I can go back? That's to? fine. Okay. At the beginning of our discussion, you mentioned that you just want a day job. You said. Yes, I don't really want to go out and have to travel and attend business meetings. I just want to go do my work, go home. I I don't really see a need to go anything further. Now, to some people, that just means that if you go out and uh, do all these extra criteria for your, I, I want to say job, but uh, your employer, I guess. Uh, that you would get paid more, but I just, I don't, I doubt that doesn't strike me as something I would want to do. Mm. Well, you're... But do you, do you remember the, um, how the conversation proceeded through politics, through, I guess we had a really good discussion. I mean, I learned a lot from you. You, you really did teach me a lot about things that I thought that I understood that you brought into such clearer focus for me. With the, with the fishing and the farming. And then I told you all the stuff that I didn't like about your political system. And I, yeah, and I chided that's you. What, Do you remember how I chided thing. you? I was like, why don't you vote? It, it, it doesn't matter if you vote or not because someone of uh, you, you're the party you vote for, right? A Republican can vote for a Democrat if that's what the Electoral College decides to elect. But you see, what I'm trying to get at, and what I also said, I don't know if you remember, is that when you vote against the majority in your state, you are letting the, the other people in your state know I mean, you're basically protesting their their choice of um, 
electoral college, you know, sort of submission. So, I mean, it, hmm. do, do you, are you really sure that the nut, oh, so you, I guess you, you understand, wow, you understand politics so well that you actually realize that you should, there's no point in voting your views, your personal views, because you know that there is something wrong with your society and, and in some sense you are, sorry, am I outing you if, if I say what, what I'm about to accuse it's you? Fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, I mean, I'm speculating, I mean, I'm, I'm, look, I, I don't know, but I'm speculating that what, what is implied is that you, you are a, a democratic supporting sort of Republican leaning kind of person. Uh, no, it, it's fine. You go ahead and speak that I am Republican. But you won't vote for them. I like, so, I mean, in my view, you're implicitly supporting I, the other side. I live, I live in a democratic state. So the, the likely chances of it actually happening is pretty slim, and I have just accept the, the well, fact that it's okay. just like that. Maybe it's a point of information that we just we see things differently, because I listen to a lot of the thought leaders in the political space in America, and Dr. Victor Hansen is a Californian himself, and the underlying theme, whenever he almost speaks in public, he is trying to signal that California could very easily go Republican. It's gone Republican under Reagan. And in some sense, he is saying that Trump deserves to make California, uh, uh, um, Trump deserves to make California flip red because that would, you know, the world follows California. California is like the, the, um, you know, it's sort of the, the, the pulpit of, global public opinion is california you know like no one uh you know because that's where that's where hollywood is that's where los angeles is you know and so mm -hmm. a anyway so when you in that state don't vote for the other side even though you support the other side in my view it's it's quite serious in my view, as a, as a moral failing, I'm sorry, I, look, I'm making, I'm making moral accusations and I apologize, but that's truly it's how funny. I feel from my information. Obviously, may, perhaps we have different information and certainly you taught me something about California. You told me about the gang violence and you told me, and I had my opinion about how that is resolved politically. And I also think that the people who are likely to perform that service to the public would be Trump. Trump is the kind of person who would make that kind of policy that I've suggested to you. Because he's I think, gonna, he's I think gang violence. Hmm? Continue, continue. I cut you off. No, no, no. I, it, it wasn't. A, it was ancillary. It wasn't important. Okay, so I think the gang violence in in not just only California, but just all around the states and maybe some other countries. I can't really speak for them because I don't know much about their politics and gangs and stuff, but um, a lot of it's more deeper than just drugs and and shootings. It's it's also like some of the people that are in gangs nowadays are just born into it. That's yes. all they really know. Yes, 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 yes. So you need to have an alternative for them to be to be weaned off of it. But you have to also attack the root cause. And I did discuss the root cause with you. And sorry, I just wanted to clarify the reason why I said it was ancillary and why I didn't want to interrupt you with what I had to say, because that would have that would have just been for the recording. Because it was ancillary because it was a repeat of what I'd said earlier. But I think that you had already started playing the game. And so you had not maybe heard what I'd said, perhaps, because your attention was divided. But... Um, what character is that, by the way? Oh, this is called Cabracken. Our, our game's lost. Uh, we, we, we gave up. Uh, I am a guardian. I am the person who goes in there and no, says, hey, now, look at me, look I'm at me. I'm fucking over your game now because, you see, you've really given up. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's not that. It's, it's a mixture of what's, uh, what's happened in the game. Are you sure that you couldn't have performed better I'm, if I wasn't distracted? I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'm pretty sure. It's it's one of those things. I play a team based game. I, I one person can only do yeah. as much as one person can do it. I I need to rely on the other two people sometimes. And were they just bad at coordinating, or were they just bad? 
Uh, some decisions could have been better, but I'm not going to say it was purely on them because I, I did pretty poorly myself. So I was distracting you, or are you, are you bad at that character? I'm bad at this character, yes. Oh, so, so you I, play I'm characters to... just to learn them? Is, do, you, do you mix them? Yeah, match? sometimes. Oh. Sometimes. So was that like a pretty fresh green character for you, or what? No, no, no. I've, I've played about like around seven, 8,000 hours of this game. I've, I have a gist of every character, but oh. there's a difference between playing a character and fighting against a character. Ah, oh, yes. The internal, or the cross, the dynamic dynamics are dynamic. Um, see, what, I, what I'm keep on hitting home on the point for you is that in the political sense, I think you're showing a kind of faithlessness into the civic structure of, I mean, you know, which is in some sense not your fault because we were also talked about your education and you told me, you know, like how bad your education system is, but, you know, how well have you been educated in civics? You know, was that not done at a community level? Uh, I'm not sure that they teach political in school due to the fact that it could be uh, offensive to some people. Yes, yes, yes. So it's what the you same... really need is a civic, a civic society sort of education that, that has space that within the school system they can maybe get into the school or who knows there needs to be some kind of um separate schoolhouse that's on special days maybe you need special holidays where people go to the uh the hall of the uh maybe they can call it the hall of justice maybe that should that be the streets perhaps that people should should send emissaries from household to household discussing uh, do your children know about the republic do they know about you know the, the civic duty to, to, to make your choice known to your society so that we don't get bad signaling. Because in my view, it seems that you're so afraid of the fact that it's a democratic state that you're not willing to actually see how much of your fellow statesmen are willing to send a different um, electoral college um, candidate to... I don't know what what the what the what the what the house is called. What is the house called for the? Is it called the realm? Or the electron? The house of representatives. I I I'm not sure. I that that's the only thing that would probably come to mind. I could be it's totally false. No, well, um, see, I'm not. They're, they're called I'm voters. not educated no, no, in the you're, depth you're of actually politics. in in the electoral college system. You're not electing. Um, you're not electing the candidate directly. You're electing the party's um, voters, and you're voting for. You see, it's called the electoral college because you're voting for voters, and maybe you should actually ask the voters, not not the voters in the electoral college, the voters that you're voting for. Maybe they should be part of the public debate on television. But I've never seen voters interviewed those voters mm -hmm. because they are really the representatives and they hold the whole system into a form of accountability you know i mean brett weinstein always wants to create these things and he doesn't even talk about the voters and i feel like there's a mismatch anyway sorry i'm talking far afield here but um it's fine continue it, i'm, but, but I'm anyway, still following I you i mean the the general i mean look sorry we've skipped over something because i was like you need to fix the root of the problem at some point, you know, and I've tried to point out what those roots are. Um, but, you know, the big step in the chain, which I have heard from Victor Davis, and I, I think I agree with him, is that, you know, if you voted your conscience, that's, you know, is, is it so much to spend one day what is it like one day every two years one day every how many years how often do you have votes uh, i think it's every four years we, we elect something new unless they rerun 
I thought the representative chamber was every two years. I'm I'm not sure. Is the House of Representatives? It could be. I'm just not okay. well educated in any of this. It's, it's All really I know is when the media tells me to go vote, I know it's happening. I guess you know the system is actually so sophisticated that it's prone to so many different forms of strategic. I just think it's I don't pay attention enough to really care. And I was just trying to tell you that California is is such a vital place for the world. I mean, California is the mouth of the Statue of Liberty to foreigners. So if California changes its tune, America changes its robe on the world stage. It changes its its uh, its address when it goes from blue to red. Yeah, it's it's been, I think, blue for too long. You know what happens? You know, sort of. I I don't know what happens actually. Maybe it doesn't even need blue or red. It just needs white. It needs to get more purple, a lighter shade of purple. Because it's it's. Right now it's dark purple. And we had that whole discussion about atheism. <sighs> Tell me about how it's going. My game? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's 3 minutes and 50 seconds in. It's 1 to 1. We are up by 2,000 gold. Uh, nobody really important died except for our only kill ho holders, so... Can you tell who's going to put team? a little hinder on? The other team? Mm. The other team consists of a healer, a tank, and a hunter. And we have a mage, a hunter, and a damage dealer. Or another tank. It's a warrior, but so I should say a bruiser. Tell me, if you... When you first received voting age, And whatever the voting age is in your in your municipal. 18. 15 is when you can start voting. Yep. Wow, California is progressive. So, you know, if you've never voted, is that because you were given the vote so young that at the, I mean, what were you doing at the age of 15? Playing video games? 15? Uh, playing video games going to high school. So you got used to the fact that you don't care about voting. Uh, yes, because in in my mind, voting is something that it, it doesn't matter because everything's rigged. I, I I don't know, I I just I don't know if I've ever seen real proof of a real uh, true election. So you don't have trust in the integrity of your elections. No. Absolutely not. I mean, there's there's been countless um, videos with just the uh, go back to when it was Trump versus Hillary. There was countless videos of Hillary supporters and Trump supporters just randomly filling ballots, even though they. They they would pay people to vote for their side, even though I don't I don't think that's legal. Yeah, but, but it's I it's mean, out there. In some sense, you have to hope that there's enough balance between the parties that it's going to even itself out in terms of outplaying every you know dirty trick in the book is going to be uh, that truth will out. You know that hopefully 
although you can have a bad egg, that it's not going to spoil the batch, you know? Like, you have to hope for that, I think, in any democracy. You can't expect perfection. But I would just say that... Um, sorry, I had another point to make on, on what you were saying. Uh, it's fine. Can, can you see what I didn't refer to? Or, or, or can you repeat what you said, but maybe what I haven't already covered? Or what I didn't respond uh, to? We just talked about how I think that there is corruption in the voting system with fraud. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. You see, but you have to hope that both parties will both use every trick in the book to win against each other, unless you think that there's collusion between the parties as well, which I guess is what you think. Maybe. Or do you think that the parties do want to win each themselves? I think that they do have real incentives to win themselves. So if long as that incentive is there, you should hope that sort of on balance, that that kind of malevolence will will be mitigated by the courts or eventually the truth will come out on it and that people will be punished if they have rigged the system. Although obviously there were serious irregularities that cannot be fixed because the Democratic Party is currently in power. Um, it holds too much power and they are by far the most corrupt party. Um, obviously there are lots of, uh, what do they call them, rhinos. Um, Republican in name only. So there was another point that I wanted to make, um, because I do think that you know, that it's just so vital that California flips. But um, what's the other point? Oh yeah, because if to, to fix the drug problem, to fix the root of the drug problem, which is which is the crime problem, it all stems from that. Oh, oh, oh sorry, we were talking about the age of voting. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So what I was going to say is that if you haven't voted ever, and I think you've got votes every two years from 15, so you should, okay, that's fine. Let's say you should, you should get the vote at 15, because there are some 15 year, old, year olds that will actually take them up on that. And let's see, 15 plus two is 17, plus two is 19, plus two is 21. Let's say at 21, Let's say 21 if you if you haven't voted, uh, but you see you don't know if it's an off year or not, so it's either going to be 21 or 22. So on the year in which you will turn 21, when there's going to be election, you should be sent an invitation to vote, and it should also have civic information, I think. I think that's what's missing in the system. You need to send civic invitations to participate. Huh. Because I'm wondering if you've I actually received an information pack encouraging you to vote and that actually had ethical... Oh, the, the I have. I've, I've oh. received multiple multiple uh, flyers saying that I should vote for this side and then this side. A flyer? But it's just are pretty... you an airman? Are you, are you going to be inducted into the Air Force? Are you... Is that... Is that... No, I mean, well, it, it's cheap. They could produce mass mini. You know, maybe... You know, it's it's quality over quantity, as they say. And I mean, this is only. I mean, I'm I'm saying, don't send it to everyone. Only send it to those who are not voting. Don't send it to everyone. Only those who are unrepresenting themselves, unrepresenting their conscience in the public space. Because I think that there are a lot of people who just don't bother to vote because they think that everybody else isn't bothering to vote. And if they know that 
only people get you can even call it you can call it the red notice you can call it whatever the, the fuck you want to call it you can change the color every now and again who knows i mean you can call it a white notice a blue notice a red notice and then everyone can see people the when the postman comes by and he's handing out the red notice the blue notice or or, or the and then maybe then you'll you'll have you'll don't have you won't have the um gang violence because you'll have red white and blue all uh you know, maybe that'll be the symbol of of fixing the gang problem because you know when a when a if you've got these big envelope you have a big 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 red envelope that these mailmen have to have to deliver then the mailman will actually be they'll have to make sure that that there's actually no more gang violence because otherwise they'll be killed in the wrong in the wrong side of town when they're either carrying the blue envelope or the red envelope because maybe you get the white envelope at 15 and you get the blue envelope at 17 and you get the red envelope at 19 and then at 21 maybe you get a black envelope or you get another white envelope and you say well and if you give them the white envelope you say we, we're sorry we gave you the vote too early or you give them the black envelope and you say uh, you're a bit of a lost cause at this point i guess you just you you know you're not really an american you didn't really get it maybe that's the way to solve the the american political crisis but as i said the root cause of of crime in america is the drug trade you need to make it legal completely legal so it's cheap because then no one will push it on the street corners they only push it on the street corners because they have no other source of income do you know how much people make when they are drug dealers they make less money than they make at mcdonald's it's a status true. thing very true it's a status thing they are doing it because they are producing a subculture that hurts their family because their family has got addicts in it or they want to make other families addicts and they have this they have this hurt and pain and suffering that then they want to repeat it because they are used to it or something like that or they're just addicted to it physically but um you know maybe if we legalize it someone will come up with drugs that uh that won't create brain damage and we can just deal with the problem psychologically something like that or we'll create other things we'll create video games i mean you know ryan because obviously the, the problem with your society is that uh, the boys today, you, you told me exactly, you know exactly how to fucking fish a woman. And you won't even try because you're addicted to video games. As far as I can tell. I just don't want to spend money on that. You don't? I find better, better But I told you money. how to do it. I told it you exactly how to, how to do it though. Don't you remember? Did, did you not take my explanation as as uh, viable was it not a I, might, I might have missed overheard it can you can you okay can you repeat so it please it riffing on how you know you know how to catch a fish you were taught fish or you taught yourself how to fish and you know how to fish you know you know that the bait when it's in the the mouth of the fish if the mouth is if the fish is clever it can take the bait before you before you pull the string to get the hook through the fish mouth okay so if the if the fish is very clever it can get the bait quickly correct uh, quick enough that you can't feel if it's on the end of your hook or not so what i said was is that and you said the problem with women today is that they're all basically traditional now you know they're all rhino you know they're all sort of um sjw rhinos you know because they they don't do, they're not interested in this unless you have money essentially that's all they they care about is money um so you have to find the one by no, not not all women want what that all yes, not yes, all yes. Women. No, no of course of course not all women so did you say not all women not not all women are like that some people some women yeah. are are capable enough to take care of their own goddamn self yeah 
So then why don't you try looking for one of those then? Why don't you um, try hooking one of those? Dime a dozen. What? And, and, okay, and, and, and the, the reference I was trying to make is for every one good, there is 10 more that are bad. I mean, the internet has corrupted the, the minds of young women, so... I mean, you can you can make more money than certain people that have worked 9-to-5s for years by just sending... Or not, not sending, but selling derogatory pictures. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm sorry to, do, to, 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 to go on a loose goose chase, but... Why did you say dime a dozen? Like, can you explain to me, like, does that actually mean one good to ten bad? Is that what it means? Because I don't understand yes. dime a dozen. So, like, but can you, but do you know the history of dime a dozen? Because I use idioms that I, sometimes I use them experimentally that I don't remember. Some of them I did know at one, I know that I knew at one point and I kind of get the gist of it. So I feel like that you're in that situation with dime a dozen. So if you have a dozen dimes, yeah. how much do you have a dollar? Uh, I don't know. If ten? You have, no, you have a dollar twenty. Do how, you have ten cents? Wait, how much is a dime? Is a dime one cent or is a dime ten cents? I. Ten cents. So if you a have a penny is one. Dime a dozen. So in every twelve, there's ten cents. Is in every twelve, there's ten cents. Of value. In any twelve dimes there's 10 cents of value so that's saying every time you have to spend a buck 20 you only get 10 cents worth so you have to spend a buck you're a man and you have to spend a buck 20 to get 10 cents worth didn't you ever watch those songs from the oldies no. and i would walk 500 miles and i would work 500 more just to be just to be you have to walk <laughs> 1000 miles just to be just to be a man. Isn't that isn't that where the dime a dozen comes from? Uh, it could. I'm not 100 percent sure. Well, I mean, obviously, maybe the, the the phrase is older, but the song is newer. You know, everything, nothing new under the sun. It's all recycled. Hmm. Already cycled. I like that. Is that really how you like it? Yeah. So you're going to be bred out of existence. Is that how what you like? You're going to be. Are you? Do you recycle your trash? Is that what you do? I do. I recycle my cans and then I turn it into money. Oh, you're a good little boy. Are you simping yeah. for for Mother Nature? Are you simping for Gaia? In a way, yes. <laughs> if there's money involved, I am no. No more better than the females I am trashing on right now. So you're a unisex then? Uh, are you a man? I am a man, yes. Prove it. But I don't, I don't pay for pussy. Is what I'm basically trying to get oh, to. Okay, okay, okay. You're not going to spend a buck twenty for ten cents value. Fuck no. <laughs> But what are you doing to yourself? I mean, you're you're playing video games. Is that really better? I mean, are you not? I guess you're I'm saving money, so what? I'm not hurting myself financially. That's actually. So a good let's point. say, let's say, let's say, if a woman says, yeah. now it, it does come down to prostitution at that point. Mm -hmm. But let's say a person says, I'll I will give you the services for two hundred dollars. I just saved two hundred dollars, which I could have go. I could have gotten, bought food for the day, um, bought a new game, gave something to my mother, y you see? Now, I'm not saying that a, ma a man should should go without sex, but I wouldn't pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that's that's totally, um, that's diligence, is respectful. It seems like a better waste of my money. Yes. In my mind, to you know, I mean, that. you're certainly. I mean, I like how you teach other, how you teach the people on the other side to play the game. 
in, in that game that you play that you explained to me very nicely but um i just want to say that um you i just want you to be more well-rounded is what i'm basically saying and i'm just encouraging you to change some of your political views essentially um and i'm not i'm not asking you i'm not asking you to do much i mean i'm a foreigner who's going to be genocided in in his own country as he's being slowly ethnically cleansed and all i'm asking you to do is vote in your own elections like i'm not asking much i just want california to switch to red i mean that is that really too much to ask um it's not for me to go vote, but to go red is something big, because it takes it takes a little bit more. No, no, than no. Just I'm, me. I'm not. I'm not putting that on you. No, no. Please, please. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you're the reason. It's not happening. I'm just saying that, like, I want. I would like you to co just contribute what you already believe in the in the civic process, because you. You know, every time someone votes in for the opposition in America, in a state that goes the other way, they are letting their fellow statesmen know that they are wrong. That is what it means to vote for the opposition in an electoral col college. But also, I think that you could get the voters, I don't know, or you're just going to ignore the voters. But I mean, speak to the, you know, if you want to understand how politics works, those are the guys that should be on the news. Sorry, I'm not talking to you now. Now I am talking to the system. But again, I mean, you wouldn't even have these problems if, you know, you had the, the fix in your education system and you had the fix in your, um, what's his name? In the policy around drugs. Which is a bit of the root problem because you know it's kind of the core it's a catch-22 but it takes some intelligence to actually make the right policy but then, you know that's what got jf kennedy killed by a mobster but you know that's what happens if you were you to fix one thing what would you fix right now in the world one problem if you were to just like completely fix it the betrayal of the south african constitution the what sorry the betrayal of the South African Constitution by the Constitutional Court judges who have committed crimes against humanity and they they should be tried in The Hague by the International Court of Justice because they have defiled the municipal law they have adulterated the jurisprudence they have very clearly I mean I, I can I've I've made, I've made, I've made, the problem is, is that they are, they are the constitutional courts and no one is willing to step in and stop the genocide as it's happening. You know, we, 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 you say you don't have free and fair elections. Like, I think that you are being a bit of a brat on that count. I'm, I'm, we in South Africa do not have free and you cannot trust the south african electoral process the iec is not independent i have done everything that i can on the world stage to try to to promote knowledge about what's going on in south africa and you know and all i want for your country all as as a friend of america is you know i i just want to encourage your voters you know to vote their conscience essentially because i think that that's that's the illness that that you have there is that you have political views but you won't act on them i mean like i think that that's that that's it's endemic in my view to the fact that the american justice system is broken but that could also be because you know your democracy is meant to sort of pick up the slack and you don't want to pick up the slack and i agree with you i think that people should have law that is dignified and that dignified sorry i'm pontificating now but um you know this goes on and on this is this is 10 hours of content you know like i and this is a repeat and my 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 voice gets hoarse and i've already i need to fill up my water again you know i'm i'm the modern day john lennon uh i'm going to sort of 
You know, I'm the last, the last one of the last white rhinos in South Africa. Um, you know, we're treated as as if we created apartheid, and we are sort of white in name only because we're non-racialists, but no one believes us, um, and they label us. And, and we do everything we can to try to fix the problems of the country. But the problem is, is that the courts have fucked the law up to the extent to which that it's, it's not recoverable in the current situation, except if we have free and fair elections. But I think that people won't even vote because the IEC is not doing its job. And we can't even trust that they're counting the vote. I mean, the discrepancies are insane. Like every time there's a recount, it's radically different numbers. And the bias is always the same. It's always the fascist, the black fascist party that is waving the black fascist identity and the academics. I mean, you know, I've, I've, no one will listen to the IRR podcast. I mean, you know, they, they don't have enough views. They can't get on the radio. Every time they're on the public media, the the moral corruption. I I made a post about this. Um, And I put all the links, I put all the, you know, I can't, I can't speak off the cuff because, you know, I, I tried to back everything up with evidence, but it's just, it's, it's crazy, you know, and, and this, you know, Ronald Reagan helped this country develop into a democracy and now the, you know, the world forced us to do the right thing. But now the world is not going to force us to do the right thing. You know, that's, that's inconsistent. There needs to be a mechanism of democratic standards, you know, of decency. And our own law is being gaslighted. I mean, you know, it, it's um, it's Weimar Germany all over again. And all you guys talk about is fucking Ukraine. I mean, the only person with any decency is Trump on this matter. I mean, you can see, you know, Trump has to has to have a double face about when he's talking about these things, because the American media is so idolatrous. All they do is they have did you watch the last Freedom Tunes? Yeah, I, I showed it to you at the start, if, if you remember, you know? Yes, I, you, I watched that before you, you, you Fauci was your boyfriend for two years, and now the other, now, now the Ukrainian president is your boyfriend. You know, it's like, you know, America is a bunch of pansies, you know, or, or no. It, I, I like to think of it the other way. You're polygamous on the world stage. That's what you are. You want to have you, you you want everyone wants to be america's friends and you don't care who the fuck you fuck over because you just you sit comfortably anyway so you know what you are ryan is you are comfortable on the cat's back and you're riding this cat and the cat is is killing all the other mice and and the scraps of the leftovers of the other mice the clothing of the other mice the the you know the leftover remnants you know, somehow they just kind of, you know, they find their way. Oh, look, I found this. It's cheap. It's easy. It's it comes overseas, you know, because we're just kind of we're stuck in this you in this dipole of um, Russian oligarchs and the American military industrial complex. But it's not the Russian oligarchy's fault because they know that if they lose their territorial security that america is going to be completely dominant and then where would where would snowden be then you know do you really want a world in which snowden i mean like that's how corrupt america is is that when you actually have a real whistleblower that actually points to how corrupt your whole system is he is not even pardoned by trump because he has to worry about if he's going to get a second term or not
You know, that is how mm -hmm. fucked your whole society is. And it's because of people like you, Ryan. I'm sorry to say that. Because you don't even vote your conscience. Is it really too much to ask? You know, it's the civic responsibility. <laughs> and this is the problem, is that everyone thinks that that's, how, that's what democracy means. Be democracy means that your culture reflects your symbolic idolatry. And so, you know, that sends the wrong signal about what the fuck democracy means. And then people in Africa see that and they're like, yeah, America is, or well, they believe they're academics that spin this witch doctor stuff you know i've i've gone over that in detail in such detail you know like i don't know what more i can do you know i've got got friends in this field that that you know are working alongside me shoulder to shoulder we're all going in the same direction and we get nowhere because now ukraine is the it thing you know yep it is the new the West is really bored, so we're just looking for but things to do. But you would make do. the media... You can bring the the media under your heel if you just send the right signal. You know, if everyone is standing in the voting queue and, like, and you talk to one another and you share who you're voting for in the queue, then everyone will get a sense about what the numbers are going to be. And if the numbers don't reflect your own polling of your neighbors, then you know if you've got a if you've got a rigged election or not you know it's a secret ballot you don't have to keep it secret i mean like what are you afraid of you know i mean that is how democracy essentially is made you know talking to people in the voters queue i mean that's maybe that's where you find uh, a girlfriend ryan you know, find someone who shares your politics shares your values as well I mean, anyway every two years you get the opportunity you know, maybe that's 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 the waiting line to be in. You know, oh, there was a wonderful song in the waiting line. Zero seven. Hell you know? yeah! <laughs> waiting two years to go talk to a girl. <laughs> well, isn't that well? Isn't that an improvement? Isn't that an improvement on the status quo, right? Or, or, or do, are you successful? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I talk to more girls. But but you talk to them. On two years, or, or do you talk to I them? I always talk to them in real life too. Oh, I, okay. I go outside, friend. Okay. <laughs> I, I I don't have a job, but I have a life. Okay. So, uh, but you but when you say you talk to them, are you saying like conversation or just like? Yeah, I'm not saying hey, we should. I don't just walk up to girls and say hey, we should just go back to my house. Fuck, like I don't do that. I actually talk to people. So you are. Yes, I, you, I do. So, talk so to you do online. have. So you do have your feelers out there. You are like aware of what of what you know, like what's possible. Yeah. I don't know. I just, you know, if you want, if you want to get a girlfriend and you don't want to, you don't want to pay for it, which I think is perfectly admirable, and you want to find someone who shares your values, why don't you speak politics to them? Why don't you get involved in politics? Because they don't, they don't, they don't care to hear about politics. No, 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 no. But that's you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, like, have and you... I don't want a girlfriend that ta that is interested <laughs> in politics. But maybe if it's because the right... then all she's gonna want to talk about is politics. Is that really true? It's, it could be. Have you tried it out? Everyone's different. Uh. Uh, no, I have not tried it out. Have you tried a bookstore? A bookstore? No. I I don't I I don't uh, I don't think there's any bookstores near me besides my local library. Have you tried the Game B uh, platform? Have you seen the Game B website? You know what that is. I I mean the no, Game B video. I don't know what that is. Do you mind if I use this video, Ryan? Because I, I want to. I need to get American. Vo I need to talk to Americans so I can scold you. I'm sorry. I'm. You see, I'm 35 and you're 24. So I'm calling you out, California. I'm calling you out, America. Do, do is there some other voice that's going to uh, answer the call? I don't think anything that I've said is 
is capable of actually being contradicted on these matters. But I also don't know what I don't know. I mean, you taught me something new today about the gang warfare in L.A. That gave me the idea about the colored envelopes. I still think that that's, that's a pretty cool idea to get people engaged again. I think we need something like that in South Africa. Maybe we should do it through... I should sue the IEC to get them to invite people to vote, people that haven't voted, and to use the letter system so that everyone can ask, what does the letter mean? What does the letter mean? And maybe that will, osmo osmotically, I can teach America something through fixing our electoral system. Because we do have to exhaust every means possible to do it internally before we can get the international people. But time is running out because we've got two years until the next national election. And if, if the ANC and the EFF win a majority combined together uh you know it's going to be over the country is not going to recover we're going to have a genocide essentially i think um it's interesting how um because you're saying i need to i need to get up and go do some oh, things yeah, yeah okay uh, so sorry if you know i'm just going to finish this point but i can let you go already and i can f finish this point after you leave uh so you don't have to hear it Oh okay. yeah. Well, I, I, I'll, 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 sorry. I'll do it very quickly. Um, if, if uh, I've just lost my thread now. Fuck. Um, S South Africa. Uh, fuck. Uh, so sorry. R rather sign off now. It, it, it's, it's cool, right? Thank you so much for, for, for allowing me to have this conversation with you and, and for recording it. Thank you for having me. Oh, oh, it's a pleasure, Ryan. Okay, Mr. Zane, I will, I will catch you around. I have to go grocery shopping. Oh. And who knows? Maybe I'll, uh, I'll go find a female and ask her about politics. <laughs> well, now, now you're inspired, so maybe it'll, um, it'll turn out for the better. Yeah. Maybe you'll have a different kind of energy. You'll glow now. You know, you'll be somebody else's kryptonite, which means that you'll be somebody else's. Um, I don't know how that works. Uh, there's an alchemy. There's a weird kind of alchemy to having an edge, you know, to being, to having the right edge. I think. Uh, anyway, sorry. I'm. There's more to do with the stuff that we spoke before the recording started. I wish, I wish we had recorded the whole thing, but it also would have distor distorted the flow probably. Anyway, thank you so much, Ryan. All right. Be off. Mr. Tang, catch you around. Bye. that point I was going to make um, something about South Africa and the future and the time oh, I was going to make a prediction I guess maybe it's better if I don't uh, oh, I was saying about exhausting internal means and that there's only two years until the election catch this thread again um, what does it mean? I oh, completely lost the thread. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs>